Good day, my dear students. How are you? How are you getting along? Uh, let's start the literature class. And today is our theme about uh, Chesterton. Uh, have you ever heard about him? I think all of you uh, who loves um, foreign literature, uh, they heard, they read, I'm sure, his books or his autobiography. Okay, uh, let's start the info, uh, with the information about Chesterton. He was born on May 29, 1874, in London. He was an English writer, uh, lay, theologian, poet, uh, dramatist, journalist, uh, orator, literary and art critic, uh, biographer, and uh, Christian apologist. Uh, Chesterton is well known for his recent apologistic and even People who disagreed with him have recognized the universal appeal of such works as um, uh, orthodoxy and the everlasting man. He wrote uh, around 80 books, uh, several hundred poems, around 200 stories, 4,000 essays and several plays. He was a literary and social critic, historian, playwright, novelist, Catholic, theologian and apologist, debater and mystery writer also. Anderson's writing consistently displayed uh, with a sense of humor. Uh, he enjoyed using paradox when making serious comments on the world, government, politics, economics, philosophy, theology, and many other topics. Chesterton aimed to provoke thoughts from his audience. He sought to open uh, the eyes of people and urge them to truly look at the world around them by encouraging them to think more profoundly about things. His writings contain depth and insight and they require readers to deal with into thoughts uh, rather than just uh, scratch the surface. Chesterton's style and thinking were all his own. He encouraged his readers to think critically and uh, this scene uh, throughout all of his works. The way to love anything is to realize that it may be lost. It just happened. The Bible tells us to love our neighbors and also to love our enemies, probably because generally they are the same people. The modern city is ugly not because it's a city but because it is not enough for a city, because it's a jungle, because it's confused and anarchic and surging with selfish and materialistic energy. Chesterton has had an influence on contemporary and uh, subsequent defenders of the faith. Uh, Etting Gilson, the great medievalist, said the um, orthodoxy written by Chesterton was the best apologetic the 20th century had yet produced. 
Chesterton also had an immense impact on authors like Lewis, uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, and Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. Chesterton, the everlasting man, contribute to Lewis' conversation to Christianity. In a letter to Sheldon Van Ocken, Lewis calls the book the best popular apologetic I know, and to Rhonda Bottle, he wrote the best popular defense of the full Christian position I know is Chesterton's The Everlasting Man. Lewis also includes a book in a list of 10 books that most shaped his vocational attitude and philosophy of life. Chesterton died of uh, congestive heart failure on the morning of June 14, 1936, at his home in Beaconsfeld, Buckinghamshire. Uh, here I'll give you the source uh, which I used uh, for my class, but uh, uh, not end of a uh, debate, nah, not end of a lecture. Okay, uh, when Chesterton died in 1936, many of his uh, obituaries predict that he would be best remembered as a poet. This may be surprising to most of uh, Chesterton's readers today because they are more likely drawn to uh, him by his still timely and quotable essays, his detective fiction, his social and literary criticism, or his uh, eloquent defense of the faith. Uh, but Chesterton published several volumes of poetry during his life. His first two books, both published in 1900, were uh, books of poetry, the first uh, Grey Birds at Play, a slim collection of four poems, also contains several of his whimsical illustration and whimsical as the rhymes themselves. For example, my niece the barnacle has gone. My piercing eyes of black. The elephant has got my nose. I do not want a beak. Okay. Uh, his second book, The Wild Night, includes some memorable poems such as By the Babe Unborn and the uh, Beatific Vision, as well as the uh, Proved to be his most famous poem. Uh, the donkey. Uh, the donkey is a uh, um, microcomb of Chesterton and his philosophy. All of the present <clears throat> in this sweet little poem uh, are all the elements that would uh, fill his writing uh, for the rest of his life. Paradox, humor, uh, humility, wonder, uh, the defense uh, of the poor and the temple, the rebuke of the rich and worldly vice. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, a com contemporary review of the book astutely observed egoism is not in Mr. Chesterton, but his ideas possess him exactingly and his gift of self-expression is equal to his candor. Okay. Now, um, I want to know your knowledge about Chesterton. In order to lecture, I'll give you some tests with the possible answers, you should answer, okay? First question. Where was Gilbert K. Chesterton born? A. London B. 
uh, Rangoon C. Bombay D. Calcutta Yes, he was born in London. Second question. What did Gilbert East Chesterton study at Slade School? Commerce, Medicine, Fencing and Art. Of course, he studied art. When did Gilbert Case Chesterton writes the Napoleon of Notting Hill. When? 1904, 1902, 1906, 1912. Which of the following books did Gilbert Case Chesterton write in 1909? Heretics, The Defendant. Orthodoxy, 12 types. Fifth question. When did Gilbert Case Chesterton become a Roman Catholic? 1914, 1912, 22, 1916, and 1918. We, which Character of a detective was Gilbert Case Chesterton's creation. Sherlock Holmes, Hercule Pirate, Albert Campion, Faze Brown. Next question. Be attentive. Which book did Gilbert Case Chesterton write in 1933? Read Francis of Assisi, Robert Browning, Street Thomas Equans, Charles Dickens. A squish. Where did Gilbert Case Chesterton die? Beaconsfield, Playmouse. Bristol, Liverpool. That is end of my questions, and your home task will be answer for these all questions. Then uh, to read or just analyze uh, the work of um, orthodoxy and uh, prepare your feedbacks. I'm sure that uh, you can it.